हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी सी प्रॉब्लम टू सब क्वेश्चन वन व्हिच इज अ बेस ऑन थ्योरम ऑफ पैरामेट्रिक फंक्शन ऑफ चैप्टर डिफरेंशिएशन द सब क्वेश्चन वन इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू थीटा माइनस साइन थीटा कॉमा वाई इक्वल टू वन माइनस कॉस थीटा एट थीटा इक्वल टू पाई बाय टू सो फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फाइंड डी वाई बाय डी एक्स एट थीटा इक्वल टू पाई बाय टू नाउ लेट्स सी द सॉल्यूशन फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एक्स इज इक्वल टू थीटा माइनस साइन थीटा differentiating x with respect to theta we get dx upon d theta is equal to the derivative of theta is 1 minus derivative of sin theta is cos theta It means that dx upon d theta is equal to one minus cos theta. Then we start with second function that y equal to one minus cos theta. Now differentiate y with respect to theta. We get. dy upon d theta is equal to derivative of one is zero minus derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta. So it means dy upon d theta is equal to sin theta only. Finally, we use a theorem which is a base on parametric functions that dy upon dx can be written as dy upon d theta upon dx upon d theta provided dx upon d theta is Not equal to zero. Therefore, dy upon dx is equal to. Now for dy by d theta, we replace sine theta in the numerator. And for dx by d theta, we substitute one minus cos theta in the denominator. So therefore, dy by dx is equal to we have sine theta upon one minus cos theta. So therefore, dy by dx at theta is equal to pi by two. So is equal to now whenever theta we have to write pi by two, it means we get sine of pi by two. Upon one minus cos of pi by two, so that is equal to now sine ninety. We get one upon one minus cos ninety. We get zero, so is equal to one. So in this way, dy upon dx at theta equal to pi by two, we get answer one. so this is a required solution for the given problem thank you